Hey guys, this is Hung Van Gogh. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I invite the beautiful Angela Wade here to lend me her canvas, create this makeup look for you. I met Angela on the Vogue magazine shoot recently. She was interning for a stylist and she walked in just helping. I was like, you have such a beautiful face. Can you come and let me play with makeup? And here she is. I hope you like the makeup look. I would just create a very natural smoky eye on hooded eye. I hope you enjoy the video. Give the channel always a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumb up. And don't forget to follow both Angela and me on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. To start every makeup, I always prep skincare first. For the lips, I'm going to use Laneige Lip Balm. It's a beautiful lip balm that you can prep for day and night. They also have lip mask for at night, which you can use it overnight. The second product I'm using is the Sowashu Eye Cream. This is the concentrated ginseng eye cream that I really love. Look up for me. You just gentle a little bit under the eye area. and some on the eyelid area. For serum, I'm also using Sowashu. This is the first care activating serum. This is a beautiful serum, very hydrated, and it's perfect to pram under your moisturizer. I always just press the serum into the skin. For face cream, I'm also using the Sowashu face cream. It's also a ginseng face cream. It's a beautiful moisturizer that you can use under makeup. I usually just press the product in first. After that, you can use your finger to puff and massage the face a little bit. For foundation and concealer today, I'm going to use the 5-in-1 foundation from Iris and Bromeo. This is more serum, sunscreen, all the yummy stuff, skincare hybrided into one. And the concealer is one of the co-favorite, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is more like very sheer it's light coverage but it's for those who love natural skin but it's all about skincare ingredient a celebrity makeup artist from los angeles her name is carola gonzalez she collaborated with the brand she worked on all many shades for the foundation and she sent me some and i love it i think you guys should try them it is perfect foundation for someone who doesn't want a heavy coverage but it's still even the skin and it have a lot of skincare benefits to start you can use finger if you like because the foundation go on the skin really well i apply with the kabuki brush you can see this one here angela have beautiful skin just a little redneck a little breaks out here 
but that can be covered with concealer. The rest of her face, we don't need to put too much foundation at all. And you can see that the foundation go on really beautiful. It even the skin really well, but it's give you all the serum, the moisturizer, the sunscreen, everything that you need. This foundation is absolutely beautiful. I'm not just saying that this is not an ad. This is very light coverage, but I think it's just really gorgeous. Even the hairstylist, my assistant, everyone just love how it looks on Angela's skin. And I think it's someone who have great skin and doesn't want to cover too much. I think this is great foundation for you to use. And Corolla work with many amazing celebrity like you know she work on Kerry Washington and all deeper skin tone as well so she actually helped to extend it all the shade for the brand they have many deeper shades even for olive skin tone as well for concealer I put mainly under eye area around the nose here little bit around the mouth I also use a tiny little brush like this with a concealer and the best way to cover any acne or blemishes just pinpoint with a little brush and that's why I do after the foundation the concealer is pretty close to the foundation so it's easy for you to cover if you want it to look less noticeable it's better to choose the color really close to each other if you use the concealer too light you're definitely going to see all the acne look more pronounced so it's better just to the way I do is I choose the foundation and concealer very close similar shade to each other and then you just do a little pinpoint If you happen to don't have exactly shades of concealer as a foundation, maybe your concealer a little lighter, you can use the same foundation brush you used earlier and you just put a little bit of foundation on top of the concealer again. That way you don't see the demarcation between where you cover the concealer. You see what I'm doing right now? I just go back and just touch up the foundation on top of the concealer. Angela's face, I don't think she needs any contour at all, but I usually use a little bronzer to scope the face a little bit for camera. So today I'm going to use the Chanel bronzer again. This is the deeper shade they have. They came out recently. Usually they just have one shade, but now they have a little deeper shade. You can use on the pale skin as well. It just keeps you more deeper on the bronzing. And the same shades I just use a little bit everywhere around the face, on the cheekbone just to define the jawline and the face shape a little bit. You see I just do very little and I just blend it out. Some people like to do this process before the concealer. I like to use it after because I like to blend out the bronzer it doesn't look too just where exactly start where it end. I should do a little bit around the nose. I'm not going to do the whole nose contour because you have beautiful nose, but just a little bronzing just to define. For powder to set the makeup, I'm going to use the Shivanshi powder. This is absolutely beautiful powder. I know I keep saying that all the time. This is number two I'm using. Look up for me. I use a small brush for the powder, just for under eye, around the nose, close your eye. 
and I use a larger brush the rest of the face. I'm going to use a bronzer from Victoria Beckham as well just to set all the area that I put the bronzer earlier. You don't have to do the way I do. That's just the way I normally do. And the number is number two that I'm using. And this is the bronzer and contour, but I'm just using only on the bronzer side. You can see I use a large brush, only a little bit. And I just set around where I do the cream bronzer earlier. And I all mentioned just very delicate when you come to the bronzer. You don't want to squirt it too much because it can become dusty. Doesn't matter what formula. If you're not gentle with the application, it's going to get dusty everywhere. For the eyebrow, I'm going to maintain the shape of Angela. She played with them a little bit. I tried to clean up on the bottom here. It's a little thin, but you know what happened? It's actually, I think it suits her face. I'm gonna maintain exactly like that. I'm just gonna follow the shape a little bit, keep that little 90 eyebrow. The brow pencil I'm going to use is the Brow Wiz from Anastasia Beverly Hill. I'm doing mainly from the outer part. The front part, I'm going to use a brow marker from them as well and I just create some individual hair and right now you see I just do I'm just gonna keep it thin it's actually suit Angela so I'm making them a little 90 and the uh, color I'm using is the soft brown it's actually usually darker than what I want to use I know a lot of people because the hair color dark you naturally gonna go to a dark brown or a black pencil but I think it could look too harsh so it's better you a lighter color and I would recommend you like a taupe or light brown or soft brown color And I can make them a little longer. I think it's, it's beautiful that way. And it's the best way you want to do, just you see that. That's how you do just all the way up. I'm going to do the same on the other side. So for Asian eyebrow, and usually we have a lot on the top here, I do recommend you guys just leave it alone instead shape them or tweeze them too much because you're gonna lose the shape easy. It's better to tweeze on the bottom here, leave the top somewhat natural so you know exactly where the guy. Sometimes if you tweeze too much on the top, you keep start tweezing them and the eyebrow become very droopy. It's better just leave the top naturally. I know there's a lot little hair, but just keep them natural. And then you just tweeze on the bottom here if you need to. I would do a brow marker like this and you create a few individual hair in the front so the eyebrow doesn't look too harsh. If you draw too much with a pencil in the front, it could look really intense. And you see that just a few little things. And this is how I normally do the eyebrow. You can go heavier if you want to. It's all personal preference. I like the eyebrow as much as defined like this, but still soft. I don't want it to be very stencil in the front. And I keep this front a little more softer just by using the marker. Before eyeshadow, I'm going to use primer from NARS. This is the medium shade. It's more tinted. Close your eye, Annie. You can use the finger brush, it's up to you. I just want to even the eyelid a little bit before I do the eyeshadow. For the eye today, I'm not going to use any eyeliner. 
I'm just gonna use an eyeshadow palette from Dominique Cosmetic and these are some of the shades I'm using. Very neutral. This is such a beautiful palette and the texture, but the look I'm doing today is more neutral shades, more monochrome. So this is more like a warmer tone, but these are the shades I'm trying to do. I'm just gonna play them a little bit. I think most likely this one, this one, that one are the one I'm using. The first shade I'm using is this shade right here with the fuller fluffy brush. Close your eye, chin up. And the way I'm applying this makeup is for someone who not very good at doing their own eyeshadow, smoky eye, especially if you have hooded eye. And I just want to create a look that you can pretty create easily by yourself. And you see, same shades I do all over the eyelid. And I think the struggle a lot of Asian girls have with they don't have the crease like most Caucasian people have. So they have a struggle to create all different shapes of eyeshadow. So I'm just creating something that they can play at home. Same color. I do a little bit under lower lash line. Don't worry, go too much further down. I think it's nice when you have food to die, you have a lot more smoky in the bottom here. So I always do a little more there. And I'm doing the same on the other side. The second color I'm using this color right here. It's more like a blending brush. So the point here, I just use mainly under lash line here. And this where you're gonna have the most depth. And you can see, that's why I just did, I use the same color with the, you can use a different brush if you like. I just do more like that, little triangle, nothing complicated, straightforward. You use the first brush that you have and blend it out. There's no product in there, just the first one. And you can see this one here, I just use that and now you have like a little soft smoky eyeshadow. This is so easy, especially you have a hooded eye, it's easy to do. You can see that it's just give a little soft, subtle, smoky eye without any complication at all. I think anyone can apply something like this. And you can go back to touch up a little bit. And I don't even bother to do a third color. I think just those two color, that can help you just create some smoky eye on the hooded eye already. And you can see right now, because she have hooded eye, when she look up, that shadow a little disappear. So again, I mentioned on many videos before, you can go a little higher on the darker shadow. So close your eye. I would use the same color. I go this part a tiny bit more high up. When she look up, she still show more of the shadow that you're trying to create. Put just a little more in there. And again, use the blending brush, blend it out. Look straight, look straight at your camera for me. You see that just a little more for you. You can create by she looking up like that and you just put more the darker shadow. The same. As you can see that just two eye shadow, you can create a soft smoky eye look. The next step I'm doing, I'm gonna curl the lashes, then some mascara. I always curl the lashes before mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use the lengthening and volumizing mascara from Giorgio Armani. This is a beautiful mascara. I think it's great for Asian eye. It gives you a lot of volume and it helps to lengthen a little as well. I'm going to use two coats on the upper lashes and one on the lower lashes. So there you have it. Just a simple smoky eye with two shades, no liner. This is the easiest smoky eye you can do for hooded eye. For highlighter, 
I'm going to use the rose quartz highlighter from Huda Beauty. This is actually very unique texture. It's like this, you just play it out and it's give you a really beautiful highlight. And this color more like a soft pink champagne color. And you use that just a little bit everywhere. Around the cheekbone, the bridge of the nose, the lips everywhere. This texture is so unique. I mean, I never seen anything like before. I think it's very, it's like you mix the color together with that shimmering and it is gorgeous. You can put a little bit on the cheek as well if you like. Just get that radiance. For blush, I'm going to use this cream blush color from Stila. I think this I used to use years ago. I just got reintroduced again and I think it's beautiful texture. I use the brush to apply for this. You just do a little bit and you dab on. It's such a beautiful color as well. This cream blush is beautiful. You can use your finger if you like. Today, I'm just using the brush. But you can see, I apply a little bit everywhere and I blend it out toward the highlight I used earlier. Maybe just a little bit somewhere right there as well. For the lips, I'm going to use a new velvet lipstick shade from Lisa Average Makeup. This is such a beautiful color and also a matching lip liner. This is more a velvety matte finish lipstick. She's a great makeup artist from London. You guys should try these from Luau. Angela have beautiful lip shape. I'm not gonna cheat. I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna follow her natural lip shape and just fill in a little bit before I apply the lipstick. And you see I do very little, not too much. smile for me yeah and this is a great way to apply you tell the client to smile a little bit so you can stretch the lip shape out you can draw a lot easier to me smile for me. this is such a beautiful color This is a gorgeous texture of lipstick. I love the shade as well. It's beautiful. To complete the look, I'm going to set the face with some setting mist from Rare Beauty. Close your eye. That is the final look, guy. I hope you like the look. I just create a very soft, natural, smoky eye for hooded eye and a beautiful neutral lips color. I hope you enjoy the look. Always give my channel a lot of love. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, give it a thumb up, and don't forget to follow both Angela and me on Instagram as well. Thank you.